Bye, Venice. I'm the kind of person that generally likes to get to the airport maybe 45 minutes to an hour right before the flight. It doesn't stress me out so much to go to the airport. But waiting to get what platform we're going to be on five to ten minutes before the train leaves really stresses me out. Sorry. Another travel day today. We are heading to Genoa. First of all, we gotta take this train to get to a different regional train, and then we're on that regional train for a little while. I gotta say that having these trains be first class and really nice and Wi-Fi makes me look forward to getting up early a lot more. Our lovely ticket agent at the train station yesterday in Venice helped us find the best route to get to Genoa. And for us, that meant leaving in the morning on this train to Torino Nova and then transferring to a regional train. Everything's so cool on this train. Absolutely beautiful downtown. I wish we had more time here, but we only got like 20 minutes. Next time. Oh man, all this food for nine euros. Ooh, yes. We got some, uh, we got two kebabs. We got uh, some baklava. What a beautiful train station. Not quite as fancy, but it'll get us there all the same. <sighs> Honestly, I think all the trains are really nice. They're so comfortable. This regional train, although it's not as fancy and new as the other one, has AC, the seats are comfortable. You know, for the first class trains being almost entirely sold out today, which they pretty much were, the regional trains are... I don't know if any of you have felt this way, but one of the struggles that I have with traveling is finding the means to get nice, fresh vegetables. The kebab is actually a great way to get your vegetables because not only do you get a roll with meat in it, but you also get a ton of veggies. In Lisa fashion, I'm gonna start with dessert because savory always has to come last. Mm. See those onions and lettuce? Vegetables, surrounded by all the meat and stuff. This is our first real long journey by train. We left at 8 a.m. and now it's about 2.30, so almost six, seven hours of train rides. Super comfortable, but I am exhausted. We just got to Genoa and it is beautiful. Look at these hills. Look at the buildings on top of the hills. Didn't I tell you the weather? What? <laughs> I don't think we can stay anywhere else. Ah, very nice. <sighs> we made it.
hate it. <laughs> yeah. Today's a uh, Saturday in Italy in summer, which means that the hotel prices are bonkers. Two to three times of what you'd get for any other night of the week. So we decided to spend a couple of our points. This is with IHG, and this is the Holiday Inn at Genoa City. Normally when you hear the Holiday Inn brand, especially coming from the U.S., you're like, eh, eh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. The ones here are a little bit different. Room tour time. Hi, do you want an upgrade? Yeah. Come on in. In this lovely Holiday Inn executive suite, what you will see is this enormous bed. What we're most excited about with this bed specifically is that these pillows are more than two inches thick. Look at that. It's just good for the support. Look at these pretty lampshades. It sets a nice tone and ambiance to the room. We've got a very modern vibe going on in this room. As you can see, it's a lot of black and whites, and I gotta show you this part. It's a luggage storage rack thing but you don't have to set it up yourself. All you do is just throw it on. There you have it. We have a mini fridge with all sorts of amenities. Unclear yet if we can get them for free or if they cost money, most likely the latter. We've got another shower here with just a half door. This time we have our own private bathroom, which is exciting. And that's it. What about the oh. view? Oh yeah. And um, this wouldn't be an executive suite without The lanai. Look at that view of the harbor and most importantly, all the cruise ships. I think I'll be spending much time out here. Hope you enjoyed the room tour. So yeah, all this for free. We're gonna be talking a lot about how we use credit card points to make our budget realistic, this 30 to $35,000 over the next year that we're budgeting for full-time travel without any other source of income. Because honestly, without all these points and miles and other things that we're collecting, I don't think that we'd be able to make this budget work. So we're heading over to the old town right now and unfortunately that's on like the exact opposite side of the harbor from where we are right now. It's like a 30 minute walk but it's this whole harbor around here is just this big cruise ship. It's very industrial. It's not really even a walking path. So I think we're just going to take the subway here. We're here. We got to go a couple stops. Probably buying the 24 hour pass is going to be right for us because we got to take it there and back. That's three euros and then even if we take it one more time just to drop off our stuff tomorrow then I think we'll have made that up. So yeah, let's get this 24-hour pass. See if we can figure out this machine. Okay, so I think what we bought was the 24-hour Genoa pass. It's four euros and 50 cents. It's good for the underground line, which is the one we're about to take. Uh, all the city buses, all the lifts, and I think most importantly, the funiculars to go up to the top of the nearby mountains. We'll definitely have to do that tomorrow. That sounds awesome. Cheaper. This side of the city is much more alive than the one that we're on, on the east side of the port near the old town. It seems like it was mostly just industry and one really, really big grocery store over there that everybody goes to in the city. I'm liking the side of the city a lot more. Part of what I love about walking around in Italy is that you can walk anywhere looking for one thing, like finding food is what we're trying to do right now, but then end up here at the Piazza de Ferrari, the historical city center of Genoa, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This plaza contains a lot of business offices, a lot of restaurants, and a lot of cultural exhibits. I'd only really stopped here before for a night or two, like 10 years ago, just on my way to Cinque Terre. 
This is probably the closest big city to Cinque Terre, which is the reason why we're here. We're gonna see that in a couple days, but man, I really wish I had spent more time here. This is super cool. Taste many different things. For example, cake, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's the cake of the day. I'm guessing that probably means like sandwich of the day or something. It says torta. Mm. Vegetables from the oven, some roast beef. I, did, I think I dip it in this in the sauce. I don't I don't know. This sauce looks kind of right to put on here. We're just gonna do that. Oh my god. This bread is so good. I don't know how to, is there cheese in the bread? This is uh, auspicious. I believe it's your turn, sir. So Lisa and I do this thing where every time we get a new round or at a new restaurant or anything like that, we have a cheers. And we go back and forth where it's my turn to give one now and then it'll be Lisa's turn to give one next and you can cheers about anything. But it has to be something, you know, life related. It has to be something uh, slightly deep, I guess. I don't, I don't know if we could give it that much credit, but just something, uh, just something more than just like cheers to the wine or cheers to being Genoa or whatever, but it has to be just about something that happened. I just haven't thought of it yet. We've had this tradition now for a long time and we still do this amongst our group of friends. We'll always say, whose turn is it? One time though, I cheers to chopsticks. It didn't go so well. I felt all this pressure to find the right deepest cheers and it just wasn't coming. So I thought chopsticks are great inventions. So I cheers to chopsticks. Never again. I want to cheers tonight to being comfortable with asking stupid questions and looking really stupid, which we do five to 10 times a day. This happens every single day. Hello? Are they not? Hello? Hello? Multiple times we were like, how does this train ticket work? How do we buy stuff at the store? What's this wine cost? How do we even get anywhere? But that's part of the whole experience of this travel thing is going somewhere where you don't know the rules, where you don't know how anything works. So, uh, long cheers tonight, but cheers to being comfortable looking stupid. But to be clear, we do try our best to learn some of the language everywhere that we go and try to understand what we're getting ourselves into or just how to approach any situation. We just, we can't prepare for everything. Parallel parking golf cart. Okay. And honestly, it'd be a super bummer if we did. This is awesome. So the menu here is a little interesting in that you don't really order one specific thing, you know, you don't get like a paper menu and you're like, I want this thing. You get a mixed plate of all sorts of stuff and it's whatever they're serving that day. And then you also can have some add-ons to that. So we got the mixed plate, which had this absolutely delicious spinach thing and some roast beef and this great sauce and potatoes and just, uh, everything here has been absolutely delicious. And then we got some uh, pesto pasta coming in a little bit, which honestly, halfway through this, I don't think we need because we ate basically half a loaf of bread before we even started the meal. But man, Trattoria de Franca. Check this place out. So cool. Holy crap. That is so good. The noodles are just perfectly made. Very pleased, very full, but I will eat this because it's so good. The meal was one of my favorites because there was just little bits of everything and just enough for each of us to try. I know a lot of people don't like leftovers or 
leftover meals. We do it a lot, but it's one of my favorite kinds of meals because you get a little bit of everything and all your favorite things. So this was the perfect thing. Mixed plate, highly recommend. To be clear, the meal wasn't actually leftover food. It was all cooked fresh when we got it there. So good. You gotta try it if you come here. Honestly, this is our first real meal that we've had on this trip and due to some unexpected, amazing generosity, we were able to actually go out for a real meal tonight. And you know who you are, so thank you. Oh, can you just look at this? What? See, this is what good comes out of just wandering the streets. We didn't know where we were going. We didn't have a plan in mind. We didn't look up a restaurant. And we just happened on this really cool restaurant with some bright tiki-ish lights and a canopy. And I thought, this is it. We couldn't Found read it. the menu. We sat down and we were like, let's Google Translate and see yep. what happens. It did not go well. <laughs> the kindest woman and man came out and they explained to us how the menu worked. I have no regrets. Yeah. This was the best experience. It was really nice to not be eating grocery store <laughs> bread and cheese and bologna. meats. Bologna. Bologna. And uh, to actually get to experience some of the dining stuff that goes on in there. Truly, truly a beautiful experience. I was feeling really, really homesick earlier. I just got this really sad feeling. I just started to realize that it's really hard to keep in contact with friends and family when you're six hours, seven hours time difference and all you have is WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. It's different. Josh was telling me, this happens. It happens. I just didn't think it would happen so quickly. It's only day 10. But to help cure that, we got outside and had an amazing dinner, wandered the city and now we're just going to wander a little bit around the harbor before we call it a night. And I'm going to go home and start scheduling phone calls with my friends. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you continue to enjoy what we're doing. Until next time, we'll see you then. to get its life together. Uh, what was I, I had something, sorry. Just a moment. When it comes back into my head. <sighs> Did it help? Yeah, that's it, thank you. I think, do I always wear this shirt on room tour days? I don't know, probably. That's weird. We don't have that many shirts. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.